Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we are looking at koala sampler and sample chopping. So you might have loops and stuff you want to chop up. So I'm going to show you all the cool stuff you can do with sample chopping in koala and how easy it makes it for you. I am using, if I just drag this over, I am using sample crate because it lets me audition what's going on or what sample I may want to chop up. So I'm going to take this drum loop here and I'm just going to stick it there. In fact, I'm going to move it to this pad and get rid of it there. And I'm just going to close this off. Uh, now, this is recorded. I can't even remember. It's slow. But it does not match the tempo of our project, which is 118 BPM. In fact, I'm going to speed this up a little bit. 120, right? And it's still exactly the same. Go into edit. Now, you will need to have the IAPs, the in-app purchases, to do this stuff, okay? Uh, this is Samurai mode, so I think it's four ninety nine, and then there's using Koala as an AUV3 is one ninety nine, and then there's another one for the mixer, I think, is four ninety nine, and then Koala itself is four ninety nine. So I would suggest buying all the IAPs. I did. I bought Koala and all its IAPs, okay? Let's go to... Before I go into tools and sample chopping, you can match the tempo very, very easily. All you need to do is hit stretch. But there's the original tempo of the loop. Hit stretch. It's going over 16 bars, right? So it was actually faster than the tempo I had set. OK, but we can set this to say, well, OK, I don't want it over 16 bars. I want it over eight. And that'll be faster. So that's fine, right? But let's turn stretch off. Let's go into tools and go into auto chop. OK, so now initially it will try and detect all the transients. And there's 66 chops here, which is too much for our pads. We only have four banks of 16 pads so you know 64 is our max so let's move this down a bit and as you see as we move this down the transients are reducing right and now if i was to chop this now it would set all these over 13 pads okay the other one is equal right and we can set our chops here so we can go say, well, maybe I want this over 16 equal slices. Okay. You can take out a, a transient point or, and add one back in or as many as you like at any point you want. And of course, reduce the actual amount of chops. Don't forget, you can't like, you know, you're just adding them and you can't go over 64. OK, and I like to keep the original, which is the original sample. You know what I mean? So if I cancel, I may want to keep that, but you don't have to if you don't want to. You can just chop it over 16 or anywhere up to 64. So let's go back into auto chop. The other thing I would suggest, oh, you also have lazy, which this lets you play the sample and add chops wherever you want. So if I hit play here and just keep. Adding chops like that. When I hit chop, it will chop these samples over the course of the pads, right? I I'm gonna kick, I'm gonna stick with transients and just reduce the amount. So prang like this down to fourteen chops, right? <coughs> okay, I'm gonna hit choke group and put one on. This means that each of these samples will cut each other off. Now, if I have, I'm gonna put one shot on as well. If I have played through one, what will happen is when I hit a chop, it will do this. It will carry on playing through. But this particular chop will then play through to the, all the way to the end 
if I have playthrough switched on. So for example, if playthrough was switched on and I hit this chop and it's on a pad, it will play its chop here. But if I hit this pad and playthrough is on, it will carry on playing through all the rest of the sample. I don't want that. Okay, so I'm just going to stop that. Go back into auto chop. Leave it on choke group one. Keep original. I'm just going to hit one shot on and 14 chops. Chop. And now I've chopped them over. What you can do now is go in and choose any of these chops. Let's switch one shot off. In fact, I should have, to be fair, left one shot disabled. But I'm going to show you anyway. Once you've got your samples chopped up the way you want them, you can choose any of them. So let's look at this one. Let's expand this. And say we just want that. Let's drag this in. Okay. Now we can keep all the rest of this stuff in if we want to, or, and this is for every one of these, right? This is the one we've been playing with, or, you can go to tools and just hit crop and now we've just got that sample and if we have one shot on it will play it and if we have release on a bit you know but we can also kind of reverse it and we can set loop points and stuff if we want to so we could have this loop You can also have it ping pong. And then you can go through and do this chopping for all, all your other samples and you've still got your, your original, which then you could go, well, I'm going to stretch that anyway. And if we have one shot and loop on for this, we can play along. Let's turn reverse off and loop. So you can basically chop up any sample you like. Now I'll give you another, another, uh, example of sample chopping let's go on to another group let's choose a, oh i'm recording me there sorry let's just drop a sample onto there so for example we might want some sort of speech sample let's maybe look for something in memory collections from daniel here maybe maybe some music even so in there so now you've got this sample first thing I'm going to do obviously is go in into stretch okay I am going to go to auto chop now and just hit equal and increase the amount of chops to say just eight I'm going to do I want, I'm going to leave one shot off. I'm going to assign these to all to choke group two. So it's not interfering with our first bunch of samples, of course. And just go chop. Now, you can play these as well. cool so there's loads of stuff you can do with sample chopping absolutely tons and tons i don't want to go on too long because it'll get boring and there's so much stuff in koala 
that I think it's better to just to do individual videos. But like I said, you know, take any, any not that, again, maybe you could in me, take any um, of these. In fact, you could, I could just go right, okay. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the sound test room. I can stop this now. Let's look at this. Hello. Okay, let's go in and edit this for the kickoff. Uh, so there I am. I'm going to go into normalize. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the sound test room. Right, okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, blah, 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 blah. I am going to take this. Hello. I'm going to pick it up and everybody. move it to group C. And welcome. And now I am going to go into my sample chopping. So again, with this sample of me, we don't need that bit at the beginning. So we can go, right, okay, well, let's just crop that. Hello, everybody, and welcome. Right. Obviously, it's me being very, hello, everybody, but this is very cool. We can stretch this. Hello, everybody. And let's see if I speed this up um, to say, I don't know, something loads quicker. There you go. Go back to me, sample. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the sound test room. It speeds it up, but keeps the pitch. It's very clever. Right. Let's... Um, just slow that back down for the start off because it's silly. Right, okay, that'll do. Um, let's go into tools here. So, hello, and take stretch off. It's not necessary. Go into tools, go auto crop now. And transient hasn't really detected it that well. So we can move our transients around like this. So we're kind of close. And I could, you, you can actually, you know, da, 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 to the right. So we don't need that to the actually, yeah, let's put one in there because I'll show you something cool. Sound test, put one in there as well, eh? And room. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the sound test room. Right. So I'm going to not have one shot on i'm not going to have play through on but i am now just going to go we've got nine chops look i'm going to go chop and now hello everybody so let's hello lot of wasted space there so let's just go hello hello and we need to just crop that for the start off so now hello everybody everybody let's get rid of all that crap there we don't need that everybody and let's just go crop hello everybody and what and and don't forget you can actually like zoom right you can get right granular with the with koala i'm going to show you a really cool video and next one are how to create instruments from anything so and and yeah we can crop that i think crop and every hello every and welcome so I don't need to go any further. You can see what I'm doing. I'm just and every, and welcome. going through all this stuff. Now, what's also very cool is I can duplicate any of this stuff, right? So say, for example, sound. I'm going to take this right back there. I'm going to bring it in there. Sound. I'm going to crop it. Sound, 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 sound. I'm going to pick sound. it up. And put it on another pad sound and i'm going to reverse it no ass no ass sound sound no ass no ass no ass sound no ass no ass i could stretch this no ass no ass no ass repitch it no ass no ass Duplicate it. Pitch it high. Sound. Hello. That's our original test room. Test room. Hello. Every and well to the sound. 
and you can go you can go bonkers with repitching so we've got this going over two beats right but let's let's just go right okay well what are, what's it going to sound like over two bars if you watch my previous video on koala about making sample instruments and stuff you'll see that you can you start adding effects and all sorts to this guys i'm not going to go any further you get the idea sample chopping is super super easy don't forget also you can repitch anything right in semitones or if you go into uh settings here you can have pitch knobs snap to semitone or have that switched off so it's just you can just tune up anything you like real easy anyway i'll show you that in another video but welcome well to well and there you go sample chopping and all the cool stuff you can do it's absolutely brilliant find all that auto auto chop stuff in there as well so i mean you can go you <laughs> you can go sound two let's go and and let's put that on there. and uh, 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 and do some stretchy stuff with this let's just go nuts right let's say well okay 16 bars awesome and this original and this and then you could go right well okay actually i'll leave that there and i'll copy that to there i'll drag this right in and i'll, I'll just reverse it i'll go faster than that so now you're creating like all these wild sci-fi effects pitch it down eh just for fun now now you've pitched this down copy it to another pad you can copy it to any of the banks all you need to do is is hold the pad choose the bank with your finger and drop it somewhere else so look at listen now this is a copy right that means let's go back to here So this is a copy. We can be pitch again. We could even go in and change the um the type of algorithm to say retro. Which is gonna give it an old another new vibe. Very, very cool beats. <laughs> Let's look at stretch and maybe repitch it. That's so low you wouldn't hear it. Let's go back into beats was fun, but we could also go, well, okay, what's that going to sound like over one beat? Okay. And, 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 and. <laughs> Brilliant, guys. Top job. Cool beans. You get the idea. Get your samples in here. Start messing with sample chopping. Get stuff over the pads. Reverse, mix, repitch. Do all sorts of cool stuff. Get creative. I'll see you guys. Let's start adding effects. I'll see you guys later. Ta-da.